Well, traders, I'm not going to continue trading today. Here's uh, my account. And um, take a look at uh, why I smiled like a few seconds ago. NVX is up $16. <laughs> That's the reason I smiled. I mean, somehow managed to take it back to green territory. And I can tell you now that I have been down more than $20,000 in NVAX. And since at that point I did not have a winner in LVGO, I mean, I was on my way to have a winner in LVGO, but um, I did not. So at that point I was probably down like $15,000, maybe more, I can't remember. I mean, LVGO slowly made its way up and I did add to LVGO, which made it an amazing trade. But my losing trade in NVX, I can't remember exactly how much it was over $20,000. And I did manage to cover that trade. I've got a relatively small mover. It's not a big mover OKE, although I let it move a little bit too much. And just a normal so-called loser in BA. So I'm actually down with three trades today. Uh, one with my first trade in NVAX, second one was uh, green. Uh, second Boeing, third OKE, two winners, however, very, very I mean, one of them is very big. Uh, made sure I'm going to stay in green territory. So end result for me is uh, very, very nice. Let me th quickly go through some of my trades today. LVGO was a very... Um, clear trade once it started, in my opinion, uh, to get back to the highs. I posted it for a long at the point where it initially failed. Scott uh, took it uh, earlier. I mean, the stock is up 19% right now, and he held to it because he believed it's going to move higher. If you look at the S&P 500, you can see that the S&P started with a gap down today and moved higher. Now it closed the gap. So big question what's coming next, because usually when the market's closing the gap, you don't know if it's going to continue or not. But anyway, we had the help of the S&P 500. So we should have concentrated on long trades and LVGO initially did not do so good but once it started changing its direction and look at that point over here that was the first failure trying to move higher you could think it's coming down again and maybe looking for a new low but once it stopped and starts moving higher again you have to remember that the stock is up well it was not up 19 percent it was less but uh, it really did change direction and moved higher so i had my first trade I believe that was 88 here and then added over 90, I believe that was right over here. And it worked out amazingly well. So LVGO turned out to be a very, very big win winner. I trusted it to move higher, trusted the market to move higher, and that worked out fine. Now let's talk a little bit about NVAX here because that was a very, very challenging trade for me. My initial trade was quite the same like LVGO. I mean, the stock was very strong, started very strong today, over 30%, moved higher, came down, reversed. Again, when the stock is that, that strong and it's reversing, you could think it's going to go for a new high, and it did go for a new high. So I went long, and then I added, and I added it expecting it to move to a new high, and it touched the highs, and I mean, just fade like... <laughs> that's something you don't usually see and I held it for a little bit too long my stop was right over here under 106 it is a support level but I should have probably stopped it here at 107 once it broke down under this less interesting support level this is a bigger support over here but um, well I finally moved out now the question is one why did I take it short because well first and most important thing uh, I had to do a revenge trade. I had, uh, I was losing too much. <laughs> That's not the real reason. <laughs> but it's probably in my mind somewhere. I mean, thinking about <laughs> the fact that I'm losing too much money. So once I stopped it out, I was down over $20,000. Probably like a bit less because LVGO was already on its way. But I was down quite a bit. So anyway, um, I couldn't join it as it broke down under the laws. The way it came down under the laws... You may remember me saying that I just have to wait for a pullback. I just watched it coming down. I didn't. I was not able to, to, to join it. It definitely looked like a failing stock by that time. Definitely looked like it's going to fail. It did fail. I was waiting for a pullback. You can't join a stock just the way if it comes down just like that. I mean, although you have a nice 
uh, breakdown formation here under the lows that was a bit extended at that point where it moved under the lows it was already a big extended you you expect a pullback and the pullback did come over here and that's why I shorted it here so my 103 short here worked out great uh, added um, I think it was 103 I'm not sure uh, added again when it continued to come down and uh, just had a real good trade which <laughs> the end result is uh, up $16 so I just kind of waited for it to get back to green territory well you know NVEX was up 31% or 30 something percent it's very very likely for a stock like that if it does well to shoot over the highs and just go sky highs because everybody loves to buy stocks which are up that much but on the other hand in some different occasions like happened later in NVX and that's quite rare there's a lot of profit taking and I think once it showed it started to fail there was a lot of profit taking which took it down when stock is up 31% if it fails to move higher then well uh, it's a binary situation it either moves up very strong or moves down very strong now if you got one of them right I thought initially I've got the long direction right that's why I added I really th thought it's, it's gonna make it well I was wrong but um, the other side the short side worked out fine so I'm gonna finish uh, my day nicely in green territory I want to thank you all for being here with me today and um, hope you had an enjoy full day and um, I'll see you all tomorrow just uh, have a good time and enjoy the rest of your day bye traders thank you for watching our video before you go we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004 and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.